not only the players who make the high school football game very exciting, there's also the cheerleaders, the pep squad, and the band. It would sound very boring there without them. <laughs> Checking back in with Andrew and Sakura, who are at Castle Roble High School, meeting the musicians this morning. Welcome back to Casa Roble High School. And the soundtrack to every football game has got to be the band. And now, at this high school, that is becoming a reality. So this new band is moving and grooving, and they are ready to kick off. Kind of, the, it's not the inaugural year, but the first full year where you guys are going to be able to really be a part of that game day experience. Right. Tell us a little bit about this team behind me. So we have a lot of beginners in our band and advanced students. We just jump in. I say play as many notes as you can. Just have fun with it. My goal is for them to learn music, enjoy it, be a part of the community, contribute to our football games. We go to parades. We go to rallies. We do all the things. And it can be a lot. You know, think about how much bands do. They march, they do everything. So you guys are starting incrementally. What is this going to look like over the next few years? Uh, it's going to grow. So I also teach at Pasture. That program's building. I'm going to teach an elementary program this year. We keep those going and they come up and they come up and it gets bigger and bigger and they get better over the years. Um, and then the better they get, the bigger we get, the more we can do. And we'll just get out there and keep playing and doing what we're doing now just on a bigger scale. Well, awesome. And of course, we got to hear from some students. So students, come on up because we got to get that firsthand experience, right? So introduce yourself and tell us what instrument you play. Uh, I play the piccolo. I'm Taylor Anderson, I'm a junior here, and I've been playing for nine years. Okay, so what made you want to join the school band? Because I'm assuming you were playing on your own and then you wanted to be a part of a team, or tell us your story. Um, I kind of wanted to play, I've been interested in music my entire life, and I've wanted to be a part of something bigger and perform another in front of others, and yeah, this is something that really lets me do that. And what's awesome is that, you know, you guys are the older students, and so you guys are seeing those first years come in and seeing them learn for the first time what it's like to be on a team like this. Um, what do you think is unique about you guys as a group, like relationship dynamic-wise? Um, it's very together. We, everybody in band is a friend. Uh, you know everyone really well, and there just isn't anything bad you know right. it, it's just like a family yeah yeah and then introduce well wow made quite the entrance over there he like surprised me it was like seeing somebody in a costume okay so introduce yourself and what instrument this is uh i'm jonathan koenig i'm a junior and this is a sousaphone a sousaphone okay what is a sousaphone it's basically a tuba but uh, like a marching version of it so it sits on your shoulder so you can like walk around and play at the same time well that looks heavy do you need a lot of like lower body strength Strength to make sure you don't tip over. Yeah, it's it's a it's a little heavy, especially like standing. After a while, it gets a little heavy on your shoulder, but it's it's worth it. Maybe it starts to feel like it's a part of your body at a certain point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're one with a sousaphone. Yeah. One with the sousaphone. And so then, what can we expect from you guys tonight at the gate? Um, definitely some good playing. We've been practicing pretty hard since school started, and we're we're ready. And they play Cake by the Ocean, guys. I just went to the Jonas Brothers concert, so I am in a Joe Bros mood. So I'm very excited to hear everything that they have to bring. So come out to the game tonight and see these guys in person.